Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, today we're going to be doing something that seems to be a common issue on these shitters, and it's this. Now, normally the clutch pedal on these, the biting point's high, but on this one, just because it's backwards, the biting point's at the floor, and there's a bit of slack in it. So, I'm going to adjust my clutch cable up. Only be a quick video. But people seem to be asking about this on the group and that, so I just thought I'd make a quick video on how to do it. Shouldn't need many tools, just some shit like that. First part of the process is going to be to lift the bonnet. So once you've revealed the beast under the bonnet, you want to be looking down here. And this is going to be awkward, but you want to pull these clips off. Which should just pull out with your fingers, and then you can pull that off. And these are the gear linkages. And then the other one is the. So we pull that off as well. well. We shouldn't really need to actually. We can just work around there. But let's uh, put my light on so we can see. Well, that's a bit grainy. But, I don't know if you can see that there. That is the. Well, that's the adjuster if you see a thread. Now to raise the biting point up we want to tighten it up so we want to turn want to turn that clockwise but to do that we need to relieve the pressure off the clutch arm right this is where the use of the screwdriver comes in you want to wedge it in there against one of the well you just want to push this so you want to wedge it against something where you can wedge it uh, and then you try and adjust it whilst holding the screwdriver and holding a phone and all that shit, which I'm going to do now. Try and get this balanced in a nice position. There we go. Now mine is too slack, so... As you can see, I tighten it clockwise. You know, righty tighty and all that lot. And you don't want to go loads. You want to do it a bit at a time. And then see how it feels. Now, a lot of the time, these, it's because the pedal's too high. My people adjust them. Um, so you want to go the other way in that case. So anyway, we've just adjusted that a little bit. So there now, you've got a little bit of free play. And then the rest is nice clutch travel. So my biting point was right on the floor before, so I'm expecting it to be about there now, maybe a little bit higher. But whichever way, it's going to be better than what it was unless it's slipping. So that's it, that's all you got to do. Right, so we've, um, we've adjusted the clutch to where we want it, and obviously now we want to put this back on, which is our gear linkage. Otherwise we're not going to be able to change gears, or not effectively anyway. So, little R clip just pushes back in, and there's a hole. There we go. Right, I just thought I'd add a couple more points. This pedal is now sitting higher than the other pedal. Slightly. It's all right to drive, but if you're a perfectionist, there's an adjuster there for the stop on the pedal. So you can adjust that so that the pedal doesn't return higher than the brake pedal. Also, in here, instead of adjusting the cable down there where we adjusted it, if you follow the cable up to back here, you can get it in shot there. That's an adjuster for the outside of the cable instead of adjusting it from the bottom of the cable. Does the same thing, really, pretty much. I just thought I'd add that on. So now we've got it adjusted so it works properly. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit high. Not the bike point, the actual pedal. Check out my trainers. Yes. And there we have um, a little bit of free play. And then a good sweep. Quick bonus thing, how to check the oil. So you wipe it off. On your clothes, I do it usually. And then, you're on nice level ground, and then you want to dip it, pull it back out, and then that 
is your level. So between the two holes is about a litre. So I need about half a litre or something. So we'll throw that in.